this quarantine experience for me has been a real creative journey for me, you know, because I come from an era of music where you make, you create all your music at home, but you go in the studio, you, you know, you had an engineer to record it, you know, you just go in the booth, you bring your beats, you set the drum machine up, you know, you set up your MPC, your SP1200. Yeah, for those who not, might not know what that means, those are like drum machines where we made beats back in the day, you have your turntables, keyboards, and you do everything, but the engineer was responsible for recording it, to tape, tape machines, two-inch tape, you know, the old school, I mean, uh, analog tape machines. So, you know, as 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 time evolved, technology changed, you know, you start getting the DAWs, you know, digital audio workstations, and, you know, and then, you know, you went to uh, Pro Tools first, then you have Reason, Ableton Live, and Logic, and, you know, so forth and so on, Fruity Loops and, as well. But as technology goes, I just wanted to be more creative. So I was like, you know, that's too much for me to start learning to reprogram my brain, how to get from SSL board and knee board to a laptop. You know, so my nephew, who was a great producer, you know, he 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 would do all my engineering. So he knew he knew everything because he's you know, he's from the, the new age of just straight to like, you know, Pro Tools, Logic and the new technology. So I would depend on him to be my new engineer instead of going to the studio with the SSL board. I had my nephew. So when when COVID hit, we was in the middle of working on my solo album. And it's like, we, we, but we was going to the studio every day. So everything just shut down like all of a sudden. So now I'm stuck at home. I can't go, can't reach him. I can't do nothing. So I was like, man, I need to learn how to work one of these, you know, these, these digital platforms, Logic or something. I know he used a lot of Logic. So I purchased Logic through Apple Music. And, um, and I went on YouTube, and when COVID hit, I started just working on Logic every day, every day, every day. I mean, I was erasing more and making more mistakes as I was being creative. But I had to go through this process of how to learn it, this process. So I watched a lot of YouTube. I was calling him a lot. He was trying to walk me through it on the phone. We FaceTimed a lot. And I made a lot of mistakes. But having said that, I learned how to record myself. I learned how to, you know, to transfer my music into Logic, track by track by track, each drum and everything. So it became, I learned this new technology and that's what COVID did for me, you know? So it, it helped me learn and how to, and, and when I did Good Times, this is like the first song I actually recorded and produced and engineered myself. So it was cool. We got a lot in common because I learned how to cook and go, I had to cook for myself. So I wouldn't boot up, I'd have a quarantine boot to come cook for me. You know, usually I have my sister to come, she hooked me up, but we couldn't get to each other. So. She would walk me through recipes on the phone, and I became a good cook myself. I mean, I enjoy my food. I don't know how other people feel about it, but I think I do pretty good. I love it. So, man, we can partner up. We can start a cooking business. We can do whatever. This music don't work out, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm with you. You know, I got, I, got the, I got the soul food over here, man. I don't know what you can bring to the table, but hey, we can combine it. Whatever it is, let's go. Well, we got to go way back. Uh, I was a fan of my dad. My dad, well, people, a lot of people don't know, my dad was the first black uh, minister to have his own gospel channel on TV, on the 700 Club. So it was the first, he had a show called, a, a variety show called The Right On Show, The Right On Singers. And so when we were born, my dad would drag us to the studio because he recorded gospel albums all the time. My dad was a huge gospel artist, you know, back you know, when we were kids. So at, you know, at watching him in the studio record for hours and hours, you know, people would go play football practice and whatever, but we would have, me and Devontae, my other brother, go straight to the studio. But my dad, watch him record, watch how he stacked the harmonies and watch how he, you know, range and took country songs and flipped them to, you know, contemporary gospel songs and, you know, how he would listen to a lot of, you know, gospel artists that made secular music like, you know, Al Green or DJ Rogers, who was some of the older people from the 70s. Then, you know, hearing these songs over and over and over and over, it, it came to incorporate a lot into, you know, our psyche kind of like. So when I was six, you know, I started playing drums with my dad and my brother was eight. And he became my dad's musical director and he's playing all, he, my, dad, my brother played every instrument professionally accept the drums and I'm like a professional drummer. So, you know, we, 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 at the, it was ine inevitable for me and my brother to, you know, have a future in music. You know, that's just what, you know, was cut out to be. That's all we knew. You know, my dad introduced us to everything, every kind of music and, you know, from every genre, every race. So it's like, you know, we just came together and that's just how, how our production started. Hearing harmonies, hearing different harmonies, hearing where notes go and where they fit and how to push the envelope on how to, make harmonies because everybody talk about the Josie harmony, but it was how we structured it and the notes that we use, you know, the scales that we use as far as like building harmonies and stuff. So 